Welcome back. Welcome back to another Beeline to Passports. My name is Joe Batista. I'm your host. And tonight we have a special guest. This gentleman, he is a producer. He also a musician, singer, actor, director. I don't know how many hats this guy have in, uh, you know, in his belt right now. Uh, tonight we have Mr. Bobby Washington. Bobby, welcome to Be Line to Passports on GKI Radio. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. And I'm wearing one hat today, only one hat. One hat today. One hat today. All right, all right. <laughs> All right, Bobby, tell me, uh, you know, every every week we have on the show over guests, yeah. and we always ask how everything started. Uh, tell me about your childhood, where you're from, um, yes. in your education, all that great stuff. Awesome. Okay, my, my story started, uh, Jose, in Miami, Florida. Um, born and raised in Miami, Florida. Grew up in the 70s and the 80s. Um, the most uh, prominent time that stands out for me the most, the best times, I would say were the 80s. Um, at this time, I was about 10 years old in, eight, in 1980. So I'm telling my age. Um, this time introduced me to beautiful music. Music from Michael Jackson. Um, rappers, um, the Rapper's Delight, uh, Curtis Blow. Um, this is before even Run DMC. Run DMC came out later in the later part of the 80s with LL Cool J. So the, the 80s kept getting better and better, sweeter and sweeter. Music like Cool in the Game, you know, um, Lionel Richie. So I was more into the music and I was also into watching great independent film. I was into movies back then like Car Wash um, or, or movies like Penitentiary, you know, starring Mr. T, you know. Um, so we were heavily influenced by independent films where we would go to drive-in theaters um, to watch the movies, you know, because we really couldn't afford the big theaters at that time. So we could afford the drive-in, put the whole family in the car and, you know, go into the drive-in and put the little machine. I think it's like a little metal uh, speaker on the side of the car. And the whole family enjoy a um, movie or sometimes I bring all my, all my boys because my mom became their mom, you know, and we all would just watch a movie, man, uh, at the drive-in theater. So my, my, my introduction to movies and film and, and music had to be in the 80s. 70s, I was pretty much playing football and basketball and swimming. So between the 80s of like five to nine, that's what I was doing. But at 10, I started listening to music and loving music and then film, watching film. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, basically, you know, when you said, uh, you know, originally Miami, Florida area, uh, in Miami, with, in the 80s, there was also the Latin flavor, like it started the Miami Sun Machine uh, with Gloria Stefan. Yes. And there was yes. another band that were, you know, you know growing in there uh, with that flavor, uh, the, the Latin and music, the Latin pop. Uh, music yes. also you know, in in that yeah, I refer to that because you know I'm from the same era uh, basically <laughs> you know, my birthday is coming up uh, you know yeah. I'm I basically half of the almost half of the same uh, you know we uh, grew with all this music uh, yes and, and they still they have uh, at this moment still many of these bands active that's that right is, that's the beauty um because people uh, right now they have you know the, on this modern world uh yes. let's call uh, the modern world now the urban music uh mm -hmm. you hear these uh, groups or bands and four or five years disappear but oh. you, we have people like say madonna madonna still mm -hmm. active Britney That's Spears, right. she's That's still right. active. That's right. You know, uh, I was watching uh, uh, early today a, a little bit of a concert of Bones and Roses. 
they're oh, still man. active. Right. <laughs> and, and same thing with uh, many of the R&B uh, singers. Sometimes right. they're not, uh, you know, on stage, but they are the ones running the careers of many of the new era musicians. Uh, or yeah. they are the producers for, for their their um, productions, yeah. their albums. Yeah, you have great, great. I mean, like Charlie Wilson, he was in the Gap Band in the seventies, and he's like the biggest R and B artist today. Um, for our contemporary R and B, um, you know, you have Lionel Richie. He's still around doing concerts, like the highest paid, you know, musician man. Um, the best music Jose was done back then. Because you had real musicians, you know, playing real chords, you know, music that touched the soul. Um, not to knock the music up today, because you know these are kids. Kids are having fun. We had fun music too. We had you know punk music. We had pop music that was um, it was more melodic, so you can sing really sing with it. Today is more of a, a swag type of thing. It's not so much soulful. The, the chords are not really there. So you can't really feel the same, you know, spirit on the music because music have a spirit, right? So you can't feel that love spirit that we felt in the 70s, in the 60s, yeah. in the 80s. You know, I love the, the yeah. melody of the 80s. The melody of the 80s is, is crazy because is it like Madonna? You mentioned Madonna. The melody was, was, was the, the singing was like, it, it had to be like the, the, the Whitney Houston type of singing to be great because the melody was so catchy. You know, yes. people like the system, don't disturb this groove, you know, um, freestyle band. We had a lot of freestyle music then, Lisa Lisa and Cold Jam. These are great music, yes. man, Stevie, yes. Stevie B. You know, these are great music, man, uh, and they last forever. And that's why they're around that's, right. that's why they're still touring right now, like you said. They're touring right now because the music is infectious. And the kids That's of today right. have to learn the instrumentation and the, the writing of the melodic type of flow, I think. That's correct. And, and let me tell you, uh, my best friend and also uh, a, she have a show here in this station, uh, Mari Carmen yeah. Rodriguez. Uh, yes. She was uh, a singer. Her name uh, was Mari. Mari mm -hmm. was a, a hip hop Let's say it, the freestyle, you know, hip hop freestyle. Uh, freestyle. Yeah. Uh, and her song was 13 weeks on the charts. Uh, Whoa. In, in Whoa. her time, yeah. in, in, in Madi, uh, sometimes they call her to go. Uh, she, like she, she said, I'm semi retired uh, because <laughs> she do uh, now real estate, but when they call her, they call her and she go and do a show with a couple songs and did. Yes. Uh, several weeks ago, they called her to, um, uh, there was a, a grand opening of this um, kind of bar club mm -hmm. in Miami area. And mm -hmm. there was Lisa Lisa there. Oh, there, man. There was uh, a singer from Expose. Expose, I remember and them. Maddie, three girls. Maddie, Carmen, Rodriguez, they were uh, the three uh, singers doing the opening of that uh, bar club in the Miami area. Wow. Wow. I love, man, all you know, those actors. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and the people, you know, continue loving the music. Because yeah, because that music, music is, good. Is, is so it's good. good. It's so good, you yeah. know. You're listening, and it's completely different. Um, right now, they have many, many of the songs. Right now, you hear the same beat, and yes. they put some something to, uh, let's say this were to decorate. But when you go to the bass, it's the same beat, and the same beat. Uh, that's different. The different. It's not the original. Music. No, um, music from the '80s and early '90s. They were yes. like that. They were uh, original, completely original, completely did, and the people start loving uh, the yes. way and, and the songs, the, the uh, lyrics. That was yes. fresh, and, and yes. there was it, there was a this kind of, of music that you can listen with family, with the kids, 
and that yeah. was not offensive. Yeah. Uh, right yeah, now, they yeah. have many songs that cannot go on air because the words that they use are completely offensive for somebody. And, you know, radio station That's will right. not uh, put that on air. That's right. You're, you're absolutely correct, man. Um, you know, the wording, the music, like if you see Michael Jackson, when he created his music, he would use his mouth. You know, that's original already. So, you know, there's no other melody that came from that and from his mouth. And the other musicians, they, like um, Full Force produced Lisa Lisa. Those guys are musicians. So they get on there, they play. They're not listening to the radio. Oh, let me copy this bass line. Let me copy this drum track. No, 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 no. Let me let's, let me play something that's, that's original, that feels good to me. You know, and that's why everything was so organic and so different. You can listen to a whole, you have a whole night of partying and never hear the same song or, or twice, the melody twice, you know, because it's, everything's original. I, I miss those times, man. I, I really that's do. right. That's right. Well, yeah. uh, Bobby, let's take the first commercial break. And when we sure. come back, we will continue getting more information about you. Okay. And uh, getting more information about uh, the projects and that you've been doing and yeah. all this great stuff uh, in our show. We'll be right back with more of Mr. Bobby Washington here in Beeline to Passports on GKI Radio. We are we are back from a commercial break. Great music, and we have Mr. Bobby Washington. He is an actor, also singer, producer, director, and also he is a writer. Mr. Bobby Washington here in our show. Uh, Bobby, we were talking mm. on the first uh, segment. Uh, we were talking about, you know, the great music and, and all these great original uh, songs from the 80s and 90s. Uh, tell me what you've been doing in the last two or three years. I know that you continue recording and selling your uh, CDs. Uh, tell us about your project in the last two or three years. Okay. All right, so for the past uh, two years, I've been doing mostly music. Um, up until recently, in June, we started a new film project um, that uh, is called Seven Roses, which we'll touch more on, I'm sure, in, in this conversation. Um, but the past two years, I've been focusing on uh, getting my past three films onto the Tubi platform, which I successfully scored a, a deal with the distribution company and um, successfully managed to get already two of the films on Tubi, and we just got the third one passed. Third one passed. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we yes. got the third one passed uh, on there yes. uh, called Eyewash. Uh, the first film is called Schizo. The second film is called Steel Chamber. And the third film is called Eyewatch. So we have uh, all three of those uh, on Tubi and waiting for the fourth film to be completed. Um, and also in the past two years, I've been, you know, every year I make an album. Since uh, 1998, I've been making a, at least one album a year. I have about 24 to 25 albums right now on Spotify and Apple Music and um, all the other platforms around the world. And um, yeah, I, I go I go to the street to market my music. You know, I promote my music uh, just like MC Hammer, uh, Master P, E-40, Too Short, Nelly. The list goes on and on of guys that actually um, believed in their music enough to go out to the world and sell it. 
So that's what I that's what I do for a living. I actually travel around the world and I promote my music from the trunk of my car. And um, you know, I sold over six hundred thousand records, you know, since uh my start, you know. And um that's pretty much what I do. I make music here in my studio, I'm at my studio right now, and I, I pretty much make music here. Um this is where I edit my film uh right here as well. And um just have a blast, man. I believe life should be about what you enjoy, you know. Um if you enjoy a career or as a doctor, then you should do that. If you enjoy um, working at Burger King, you know, as your career, you should enjoy that. Um, most definitely, most definitely. Because people, uh, when they start doing uh, what they love, uh, yes. they're going to bring a thousand percent. Uh, when the yes. people don't like what they're doing, they're gonna yes. be slacking. They're gonna be start try to get uh, you know doing shortcuts, and they start getting in trouble because they don't do what they love most definitely. That's right. That's right. Stress. They they bring upon stress upon themselves or someplace they don't want to be, and stress is never good. Stress is oh my god, to kill. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, it's stress kill. is the number one killer in the world. That's right. That's, That's it. right. Yeah, people, uh, you know, live with stress. Unfortunately, they start getting, yeah. you know, heart problems, obesity. Uh, they start yes. getting other situations. Uh, High blood pressure. Health, uh, yes, yes. And yeah. uh, you know, relationships, uh, they start getting bad. If they were married yeah. uh, with the stress, they start getting some fights because they can't handle certain situations. Yeah um yeah. and yeah definitely they need to look for something with uh yeah. to love off and yeah. from there uh make the changes that's right especially with covid covid really had a lot of uh a lot of um influence on domestic dis uh, violence and domestic um separations and problems you know people weren't used to being home with each other so long so when people were yes. on on you know automatic you know uh, lockdown um, you know, people had, had trouble, you know, with the COVID. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And they, and one of the biggest uh, situation there, uh, we see in a lot of uh, the increase also uh, the youth, uh, you know, looking to do something uh, they affect their life, but they're affecting also the world. Uh, the, the fight, it's the, yes. the bullying part, and now it's yeah more aggressive because they try to show something they try to yeah. do something against somebody because they can't yes. handle uh that's their right. own situation most definitely that's right most definitely. and yeah. um you said uh, you've been working uh on this uh project to have an album um and um you have your your music on uh on all the uh platforms like spotify uh, Apple Music, Amazon Music, mm -hmm. all that ones. If people want to listen music from Bobby Washington. They can uh, listen in there. That's it. Yep. And I'm the only Bobby Washington on there. <laughs> I'm the only one named Bobby Washington, also, which is good. Which is good. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I when I have my, my IMDb, uh, I I start looking, but they have too many Joe yeah. Batista. That's why on mine they have my. Oh. my in Joe and Batista because oh, there was too many Joe Batista. I don't know why everybody wants to be Joe Batista. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the original. <laughs> You're the original. There you go. Maybe you should add that on there. Joe Batista, the original. Or oh, the original Joe the Batista. Original. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah. that I'm gonna do that. I gotta do uh, you know create a social media, the original, uh the yeah. one and only. The one and only. <laughs> I love it. That's right. So that's a, yeah. that is part of uh, the business. All right, let's take yeah. another uh, short commercial break. And when we okay. come back, we will continue talking about uh, your career and all this good stuff. We are going to do uh, a short commercial break. But remember to drop a comment or question if you would like to hear them answer on this show. The number is 407-476-476. 9059. Remember to say my name, Joe Batista, followed by your name and your question or comment. And you could also hear it here 
in Villain to Passports on GI Radio. We are back. We are back from great music. Short commercial break. And we're back with Mr. Bobby Washington. Then he is an actor, and singer, mm -hmm. producer, director, uh, writer. Uh, Bobby, what else do you do? Because I, I know, I know, <laughs> you know, we start talking today and I, wow, man, you do all this stuff. That's that's great. That's awesome. Yeah. Right? You do all this um areas because also you involve not only on your projects as a director actor uh you also uh are direct photography for some of the films uh you've been doing live sound tell yeah. us what else you do man i tell you uh okay man I just a lot of things sometimes i forget what i do until it's time for me to do it right And okay. um, I got I got to tell you, the reason why I do so many things is not because I wanted to. Um, a lot of things, you know, growing growing up in, in um, the 80s and, and going in, into the 90s when I was ready to do a project, it just cost so much money to pay people to shoot my music videos, to, to come play the bass guitar in the studio, the piano, um, the background singers, the engineer, the, the, the studio time itself. Um, um, graphic posters, the photographer. I spent eighty thousand dollars on my first album, Jose, that I didn't have. I had to take three jobs. It took me years to pay it all off. Right. So when I decided to start selling my first album called Dripping Wet, that was my very first album, Dripping Wet, in 1998. I decided to go to the street and start selling it to make some of the money to pay it off. You know, and at the same time, when I finished paying it off, I went ahead and bought my own keyboard. So I developed this model. I call it, if you want something done, dang it, do it yourself. That was my motto. If you want something done, dang it, do it yourself. And um, I said, you yes, know what? I'm going yes. to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that model to practice, kind of like what you're doing with your own radio show right now, which is great. You know, you, you decided to, hey, you know what? I need to start something to help people get their stuff out there. Now that you do, you have to, you have to make a way where well, there's no way. So I decided to buy the keyboard. So I produced music. Right. Instruments. I play all the instruments in my music. I mix and master my music. I track my own vocals. I do my own background singer. Sometimes I get my, my wife, uh, Cindy, to do background for the high girl notes sometimes. Sometimes I do them in falsetto for myself. Um, I write the song. I mix I mix the song. I master the song. Mastering is different from mixing, right? Um, I promote the music. Obviously, I market it. Uh, I shoot the movie. I shoot the music video. I write the treatment, the story. Um, the dialogue for the movie I write, I act, I direct, I do cinematography, I do sound, I do light, um, I do storyboard, I do uh, location scouting, I actually uh, scout for my talent, you know, I'm like an agency. <laughs> um, so anything you can think of, I do it myself. Even the graphics, even my, I have my own printers to print my own DVDs or CDs here. I have my own pr pressing plant. So I print my own material. Um, the only thing that I, I, I send out are the USB that I'm, I'm getting brand new two, in two weeks, USBs for my album. I don't have those machines yet, but I will get, I will have them in the future. So I'm, okay. I'm getting those right now manufactured for me. Um, what else do I do? What else do I do? Man, let me look around because I have everything right here. Uh, let's see. Right, posters. Well, you know, Cindy, she does graphics. I don't do, I, I, I taught her how to do graphics, but. There's a difference between a man's graphics and a, and a female's graphics. Females are very soft and they're very detailed. They see everything. Yes, Whereas yes. men, they seem men seem to tend, to tend to clutter things up with a lot of bling, bling, bling. You know, graphics be all over the place. So I let her do the graphics. Um, 
So that's about it. That's about it. That's about, I think that's about, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about yeah, it. And, and, and let me tell you, let me tell you, uh, we have something in common there. Uh, sometimes uh, I believe it's because we. 70s 80s babies uh yeah. that will learn that uh um, yes. you know, in the music industry uh as well and yeah. you know start playing in one instrument and they decide to learn another and <laughs> uh, when i ended i was then you know playing several and mm -hmm. we started in a band and with starting a band as a musician and yeah. uh the co-director of the band and yeah. they we decide okay let's make some changes i brought somebody and i took some uh singing uh, lessons and i went to be a part of the front of the band and wow. at the end you know we've been doing everything and wow. work on the radio station for many years and in the wow. radio station uh, they gave me the opportunity to um, assist with the um, area, the production of the uh, show, and wow. not only production of the show, doing the part of the ads. The ads that okay. were on, on air. Um, I was covering the vacation of the director, of, and hey, wow, creative, creative I, I part. Didn't even, I didn't even know you did music. I didn't. I didn't know you play instruments. You play instruments too. Yes, yeah. Wow. Uh, mine is uh, hand, hand percussion must, um, yeah. but all related with percussion. Uh, wow. I started uh, at the young age of five years old playing wow. because my dad was a musician and mm. learned uh, uh, to play drums. And then I decided to move to the hand drums. Um, mm. And it's congas, bongos, timbales, uh, the rhythm, the, the rhythm, the rhythm, the rhythm, the rhythm. And I start playing with a band uh, in Puerto Rico, uh, yeah. a merengue band. Yeah. Uh, and then with the merengue band, today when I moved to the U.S., I decided to okay, let's do that on the side. And somebody me back from retirement. They they yeah. happened like twice. Uh, and I start playing with a band here in the U.S., specifically in the Orlando area, uh, mm -hmm. playing uh, salsa and merengue uh, mm -hmm. and bachata. Uh, I start playing that with band uh, in a different events. Uh, then I moved to Christian music. And mm -hmm. when I started playing uh, Christian music, I was one of the percussionists on, on a band. We were traveling around uh, from Virginia to the Keys, uh, uh, doing you know events for churches and concerts and all this mm -hmm. great stuff. Until I decide, okay, uh, let me put this on the side. I need, I need to continue with my actual uh, job because it was in jeopardy the job versus the the, the gigs. Uh, mm -hmm. And I just to I'll continue with that, but. I still uh, playing. Uh, they asked me to go and play for somebody. Uh, if they had the opportunity, I, re I do the rehearsal and, and be part of that. And but I decided years ago uh, to start mm -hmm. looking back in another area, and I did before. There was I did also was a talent talent manager for a, a talent and the road manager for a band mm. uh, and mm. you know handling the band and taking the band to the different concerts and all this yeah. great stuff and somebody brought me back from retirement and started doing uh, the talent management uh, several years ago and yeah. I've been doing it on a side Full time yeah. in that on a side until um, that get a hundred percent of my time. And wow. produ producer of three shows here in this uh, radio station. And wow. this one, Beeline to Passports, uh, Puerta Javiertas, then is uh, the Madi or Mari Carmen uh, Rodriguez on Fridays. Mm -hmm. And uh, sorry, Saturdays now because it's uh, on Saturdays at noon. And um, on Friday at nine, uh, Hazing with D, uh, with Demetrius Hayes. 
uh, mm. later. We, we're producing that show as well. Uh, wow. It's been very busy, you know, during the yeah. time. Uh, when, and, do you, and it, when do you sleep? When do you uh, sleep? It, they, they said it'd be after 11, 46. <laughs> <laughs> That's that time. <laughs> wow. or when we have time to, to sleep uh, and being involved uh, and that's when we met uh, being involved in a career uh, you know acting but basically and the acting part that was because somebody uh, I have actors that uh, handled their um, basically their career and mm -hmm. when we start doing that part I they make me to start doing auditions and that's when I start getting parts in in different films and TV series but yeah. I get all this uh, you know to get the information get all all this great um, deals to, uh, meaning uh, meeting people uh, to introduce actors and actresses that we handle their career can continue wow. growing in the business. Wow. That's what I said. We have something in common. We do many stuff, but also uh, it's because I believe it's a baby then we've been everywhere and anywhere. That's right. That's right. That's, that's being part of our uh, blood. <laughs> All right. Okay, Bobby, let's take another short commercial break. And when we come back, right. we will continue uh, talking about your career. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, your future projects and okay. uh, where, where we can start, uh, you know, seeing in these uh, movies and also continue listening your music on the different platforms thank you for being with us learning about mr bobby washington and for giving us the opportunity to be in our third season here in gki radio we'll be right back with more of beeline to passports on gki radio We are back. We are back from this track, great music, and you're listening GKI Radio. This show, the name is Beeline to Passports. My name is Joe Batista, and tonight we have Mr. Bobby Washington uh, in our show. He is an actor, singer, also, he is a director, producer, and he, like he mentioned on the previous session uh, or segment, he do many, many, many great <laughs> stuff in this industry. Uh, Bobby, yes. uh, we've been, uh, you know, uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to be part of uh, this great movie, Seven Roses. Uh, My we've pleasure. been part uh, in different areas we've been part as an actor uh, also a, a assisting in the casting uh helping during the different days of filming uh and tell us when the people can uh, see it, this cool. movie uh, okay. and uh, the the other movies you mentioned then it going or they are in Tubi. that's right Okay, so man, I want to thank you for being a part of Seven Roses, man. We had a lot of, a lot of days <laughs> filming this movie, man. We've been, you know, it's a feature film. You know, this film is gonna be about an hour and thirty to maybe hour and forty-five, maybe an hour and fifty minutes. You know, it's a really, really um, in-depth serial killer type of movie. It's a, it's a psycho thriller, and it has a lot of many, you know, many uh, twists and turns in it. So all, all the parts had to be properly placed to make sure that the film ties in together. So everything that was 
left out. I went back and I shot. Um, we just did a bunch of pickup shots yesterday uh, with the actors on set. John uh, Montez. Uh, we had uh, actors uh, Joe Ray on set. Um, getting a bunch of pickup shots that we missed. You know, a lot of the car scenes we didn't do in between uh, scenes. We had to make sure we knocked those out. Um, I have another day I need to go out and do uh, a few more pickup scenes where I get, I get establishing shots, like outside of homes, um, outside of uh, buildings, businesses, um, or places that we acted inside of that we didn't get a chance to do. Maybe the lighting conditions changed because it got it from day to nighttime or vice versa. Um, so we also have another, one last shooting day on October 1st um, in Ocala on the farm of Rex uh, Seaton, who's uh, uh, my, one of my main actors in this film, the actual uh, serial killer. <laughs> we have to go to his farm and shoot about one, two, three, four, about maybe four to six scenes to complete the film in its entirety. Um, so the film should be totally shot by that time. Now, um, I've been editing the film simultaneously, which is a, a good thing that I've, that I've decided to do this time. Normally, I would shoot all the film and then, you know, come back later and edit it, you know. Um, and it would take six, seven months just to edit it because I got so much footage to go through. But I was smart this time. I said, you know what? I'm going to actually edit this thing at the same time. And with the help of a wonderful composer, uh, Mr. Crespo, Carlos Crespo, who's down in Miami, my hometown, he's like a brother to me right now. And um, what I what we do is we tag team. When I come and I, and I put a scene together, let's say we shoot about four scenes today. In the next two, three days, I put these scenes together. I color grade them. I edit them. I, you know, make everything right. Um... I ship it off on Dropbox, um, a cheaper quality file. Not, not a 4K file, but a cheaper quality file because it's all about the sound, not about the video yet, right? So I, I put it up to the to the Dropbox, Crespo. He drops it down, man. He's a sous chef too, so he has a day job. So I, so he, he goes his work, man, busts his butt. He comes home. He doesn't go to sleep. This guy puts a nice sound score to this movie to match what we did because visually you can have a great project, but without the sound, you know Jose better than I know. You've been in this business for a long time. Um, that if the sound is not matching the audio, or the video, then you don't have a project, right? So yes. he makes that sound sound magical, bro. And um, so we've yes, been yes. we're pretty much we're pretty much ahead of the game as far as the edit. The edit is pretty much Simon says he's done. So once we get these next few pickup shots done, completely going to edit them right away and smack them out. Um, I'm looking at um, doing a release premiere, you know, which I, of course I want. I'm inviting you and your family and people to come through everybody that was we had about maybe like 80 people in this film you know 80 people actors yes. not to mention the, not to mention the crew <laughs> you know because in this, this right. film uh, in, in, on this film um you know it's always been in my heart to show people how to do things you know because many people want to do things but don't know how to get started so i figured let me take the opportunity to show people how to use cameras how to use sound how to use lighting develop the community more to so they can be more of an asset to help people make more film and help develop their own films at the same time. And this was a, uh, a great thing that we did because it allowed us to really make this film, you know, comfortably without rushing. And, and you know, if people get tired of fatigue or have other things they have to do, we can bring on more people to, to fill in those those spots. Um, so this film is going to be incredible. Um, the premiere, we're looking at doing it, um, I'm thinking around December or January, um, have a nice big, you know, um, red carpet at a, at a theater, a real theater, because I want to, I want to hear the sound, man. Those big speakers. I want to see that that beautiful 4K footage on the, on those nice big screens, you know, for us to enjoy it. Awesome. And after that, I want to shop it. I want to shop it uh, for a deal, um, you know. Um, and if it falls short, you know, I'm gonna try my best to shop it to people like Lionsgate, you know, stars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really shop it hard. I'm gonna give it about maybe three three to six months to shop it. Um, if it doesn't go that way, then of course I'm gonna go to my distributor. We're gonna put it on Apple TV. We're gonna put it on Tubi TV you know, and, and so forth. But people go see this movie. Make no mistakes. Awesome. 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 Yeah. That's that is a you know a good and a great news for a lot of people. Uh yes. they have listeners uh you know around the world in this uh show uh because this is an internet radio and we have followers from Europe from the wow. north south and uh the Caribbean uh they listen oh, the show and we start, you know, um, they follow, start following our guests, 
And when they yes. start looking, okay, to go a, a movie or uh, an event that they can watch on, on any of the platforms, they start yes. following, they start getting involved on that. That will be a great, uh, you know, and uh, yes. anything like uh, I said before, anything that we can be involved in, uh, you know, sis, uh, on that premiere, let us know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, because we would like to promote uh, getting people, um, you know, yes. besides, uh, they have 80 plus one, because remember, most of these people, they are, they have a significant <laughs> order. That's 160 people. Already. You already know. You already, you already know. You already know. Press, It's going to be fun. Press, and they would like to, uh, you know, participate or they would want to cover the yeah. event. Uh, let us yes. know that we can. We need that. some press. We want press. I spoke to Jose uh, Rolando. You know him, Roller Roland. He's on our our, our film crew. Yeah, he's also yeah. the movie too. Yeah, he played the part with the uh, with the with the, the the AK gun in the police station. So he, yes, he has a, on a diapers on a diapers. Yeah, he has a, <laughs> he has a he has a he's in the diapers. Man. In diapers, hey man, he's funny. But he has a press person. And I, my wife, uh, Cindy, who also uh, directed this film with me, she also starred in the film, and she's on every set. She's an amazing filmmaker herself and great singer, um, and my wonderful partner. Um, but she she knows a guy um, at Lincoln Ledger who actually did a write-up on us before when we did Steel Chamber movie about in 2015, I, I want to say. So I'm sure she's going to get on the phone with that guy and get, get some press around this as well because I really think that this film can really go some places. Man, You guys really put... Your hard work into this film, Jose. Everybody put their hard work, and I, I appreciate everybody. People who, you know, from the beginning, man. You know, there's so many great people I want to mention, man. From Nick, I mean, you guys started off. You, Jose, wait, wait, Jose, Baptista, Nick, uh, Santos, um, uh, John, um, everybody, man. I want to give a great shout out because without you guys, man, this thing would have not taken off to where we are today. So everybody, man, from the beginning to the end. You know we are we have to celebrate you know because we, we this is something to be proud about we did we did something great together you know what i'm saying we made history yes sir yes sir yes sir and, and making making history uh you know uh doing the the movie and yeah. uh it, you know a feature film with local talents and uh, also yes. a, a local uh, producer actor writer uh that is a uh, Because most of the local, um, they always go to the uh, short films uh, because yes. time consuming, not only time yes. consuming, money wise. Because, yeah. you know, going location to location and doing this and, and uh, the time then the actors can be and the crew, uh, they basically a, a little bit difficult. And, but yes. it's, it, is, it is an amazing project. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Well, uh, tell us about your uh, social medias and also your uh, website, and the people can follow you, and okay. also the platform. Then people can listen your music. Oh yes. Okay. And also, want to put out there: we, we got more films in the can. We have about six films, um, you know, that Cindy J and my myself wrote in the can. Um, in one in one series as well. So we have much more projects um, that we're going to be working on on the films on the film side. So all the actors out there, the crew guys, don't go to sleep. We're gonna we're gonna be at you again. It's gonna be time for us to make more movies and make more magic. Um, on the music side, yes, I'm on uh, Spotify, Pandora, uh, Tidal, um, Amazon, um, Deezer. You know, any place you you listen to music, YouTube. Make a playlist, put Bobby Washington on it. I have a total of about 400 songs out there um, between 24 albums. If you can do the math, 24 times 10 or, uh, or 15 or 18, I have 18 songs, some albums. You got between 200 to 400 some album songs. So that's what's out there for me right now. So make a playlist of your, of your favorite Bobby Washington songs. I actually do that from the bottom of my heart. Um, also, they can follow me on Instagram. Instagram is uh, half of my name. It's Bobby Wash. So it's not the Washington, it's Bobby Wash. Simple. That's it. That's me there. Facebook, I have seven Facebook pages, um, but I have one music page. So look up Bobby Washington Music. Bobby Washington Music, and that's me wearing the, 
the red jacket with the hat, the black hat. So add me there. Um, and I and I do respond. You know, if you guys people inbox me, ask me questions, uh, you know, I, I respond. You know, I'm not like a lot of entertainers who don't respond, who ignore people. I actually respond to everybody. As soon as I get the opportunity, I respond to you. Definitely. Awesome. 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 And your IMDB also. They, oh, IMDB, can... yes. Um, it's Bobby yes. Washington. IMDB Bobby Washington. Um, I believe I'm number two. Right, Jose? I believe I'm number two. Because they, they got several Bobby Washington in the in the in the film world. Not the music world, yes. but the film world has several Bobby Washington. I think I'm the number that's two. I'm the one with the same the same red jacket with the black hat. That's me. You know, or if you look at one of my films, my films, one is called um I Watch. And that's my, my film before uh, Seven Roses. I did that one in 2017. And that's spelled E Y E, the letter I watch, like I watch, like the watch on your hand. So it's I, the I, right? E Y E, and then I watch on your on your hand. So it's together. If you look that up, you'll find my me as a director of that film and actor of that film. Awesome, awesome. Well, Bobby, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for being thank with you. us here in a our show and uh, most definitely let us know anything that we can uh you know work together in the future and yes. also continue do doing uh, in the seven roses when uh, we're going to have the premiere let us yes. know that we can promote that and for the people uh, they can yeah. go and uh participate and see yeah. um you know the hard work of over 80 uh actors uh <laughs> in the central florida area plus yes. uh crew and all these uh, people then put their time yeah. to do this fisher yeah. film an amazing fisher film yes yes god bless most definitely well thank you bobby uh and thank you people for being with us in another show in another week of be lying to passports and remember be a leader rock the world inspires others with your emotions in control good night